Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Today I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing the Miss Fong diaper bag. Miss Fong reached out to me um, and wanted me to do a review of their diaper bag. Super excited to try this bag out. I think it is a really great um, stylish option that can still be worn as a backpack. They have a ton of really great options. Um, and the good news is, is that they're sold on Amazon. So there will be a link for this diaper bag down in the description below. Please go check it out. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I already cut the tape. Um, so comes in a plastic lining, which I like to see in case it rains on your package. And then it is in a protective cover inside of that. Um, they are leather, I think it's vegan leather, um, bags. And so they have a really pretty look to them. Let me get this cover off. And here is the diaper bag. I think this is so cute, really stylish. These, um, are just snaps on the front, uh, which is good for that, like quick release. They're like magnetic. Um, so that opens up like that. Um, and let's see what we've got on the inside here. So in our first pocket here, there is a large um, pockets to hold like bottles or your water bottle, that kind of thing. And there also is a zip mesh pocket here on the front, good for some little items. Then in the bigger pocket here, um, it comes with a little changing mat so you can do diaper changes on the go so it's just got a snap there um and a big old changing mat that is very useful oh that's really easy to do that's good <laughs> and so that folds up like that very convenient and this pocket is nice and big lots can fit in here um, there are more water bottle pockets so here let's see if I can get it this is an insulated water bottle pocket right there on the inside um, as well as a laptop sleeve right here if you're like a working mom like me that might come in great handy um, there is another zipper pocket so on top of that um, Laptop pocket there. There is a zipper pocket, so lots of space to organize in here. Um, and just tons, tons of room. Like this is a really big bag, which is why I wanted it. There's also an outside um, water bottle pocket that is also insulated, I don't know if you can tell. And so that's nice, it's got one of those on both sides. So there is tons of space for storing bottles, your water, your extra juices. I tend to have like three drinks with me at all times. Like I've got my water, a caffeinated beverage and like a juice. <laughs> so that's gonna be really convenient. All right, so I'm just gonna snap this back closed here. And I think the, one of the things I also really like about this is it's still really stylish. Um, it's like big, it can hold a lot, but it's still like maintaining that style. That's cute. Um, which I appreciate. So let me get these straps undone here. <laughs> All right, there we go. So there are, like I said, backpack um, straps on this, which I really love for um, having hands free. I definitely wanted a diaper bag that could go on my back. Um, so that is really convenient. And these straps obviously adjust if you wanted to wear it lower. Um, and then Another really great thing about this is that it has um, a spot on the back here, if you unzip this, where you can slide it on to a roller bag. So I'm gonna use this um, to go to the hospital because I'm gonna pack my stuff and probably my husband's stuff into a roller bag. Um, and then we can just slide baby's diaper bag onto that um, when he's like carrying all of that. And that unstaps at the top so it can like you know, slide all the way through, if that makes sense. So lots of really great features on this bag. Really appreciate all of the insulated water bottle pockets. I feel like there's not a lot of bags out there that have, ow, I think just got caught on my jeans. Not a lot of bags out there that have the water bottle pockets on the outside that are also insulated. Um, so I feel like that's a really nice feature. And I also really appreciate that this bag is big 
it can carry a lot and it has a laptop sleeve. So for working moms, um, this is a really, really great option and still really cute. So um, definitely I'm excited to be using this diaper bag. And like I said, there'll be a link for this diaper bag down in the description. So go check it out. All right, so now let's get into what am I packing in this bag um, for baby at the hospital. So I have everything laid out behind me. So let's get to it. All right, now for everything that I am packing into baby's hospital bag, I have it all laid out in front of me here. Um, I am gonna pack all of the things, okay? I'm gonna have extra, the hospital might have them too, and that's fine, I don't care. If it fits in the bag, <laughs> then that's okay. I don't wanna be worried about anything. And so I'm just packing what I wanna pack. Um, and I'm a first time mom, so obviously I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm happy to have extra stuff. Um, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on first time moms like, oh, don't you don't wanna pack anything extra. I'm like, um, why not? You don't know what's happening. You've never done this before. It should be focused on you being comfortable and feeling prepared. And so I'm just gonna pack what fits into my bag. Luckily, it's a nice big bag um, and it's totally fine. If I don't end up using all of this, I'll know better for next time. So, um, but I would rather have too much than not enough. So the first thing um, I am gonna put back into there is this little changing mat in case we need to change diaper um, on the way home. I'll have a place to do that. And that being said, with that, I'm bringing just three little diapers and a small like sample pack of water wipes with me. Um, just to have in the car. I'm gonna put them in my diaper bag. Okay, I know they have some at the hospital, but there's my little like diaper setup that's gonna go in there. Um, next, of course, outfits for baby. And so I've got a couple different things that I'm wanting to do at the hospital. First, I'm going to remake their announcement photo. So I had this little onesie um, in the announcement photo with this little like teether toy thing. And so I'm going to um, like remake that photo. So put this on them and have this in the picture um, as well as our little sign. Um, we had it set up to say baby Flanagan due in December. Um, and then I'm also gonna bring all the letters and numbers and stuff so that I can put their name on there and the date or their birth weight or you know whatever I decide I wanna put on there. Um, and so I'm bringing all of that for that photo. And then I've got a couple more different outfits. I've got um, two footed sleepers. There's this first one, it's from Burt Spees, um, that are zero to three months. This is the next one, it's from Kite Baby, which has the fold over hands and um, feet, which is nice, don't have to worry about mittens and socks and that kind of thing. Um, and I will try and link, you know, anything I'm talking about down below for you. Um, and then I've also got two newborn size outfits. So there's this one from Kite Baby, same thing. It's got the fold over um, sleeves and the footed. So that size newborn. And then I've got this one for another photo, their newborn announcement um, picture. And this is a knotted gown. So you can just like tie it to whatever size, which is nice, but the baby can't ride home in this, I realize, because you can't put them in the car seat in this. So um, this would be good for a photo, but I think, uh, yeah, I won't put them in the car seat with this on, but super cute. And I just brought um, in this little knotted hat that goes with that. Um, and so I have two newborn size and I have two zero to three months. I was a small baby, but William was a big baby. So I'm just preparing for both of those potential things. Um, I've also got a couple different pairs of just some plain white socks to go with those clothes, as well as some little um, little booties. I think they're super cute. Okay, I don't care if the baby's not walking. I like them and keep their little feet warm. Okay, I'm giving birth in December. It's gonna be cold. Um, also for baby, I have two different pacifiers. I'm gonna bring their Wub and Nub, um, and I'm also going to bring this nature sucking nature sutton pacifier that's all natural rubber um i know a lot of people don't give pacifiers in those first couple weeks um and i'm gonna try and do that but if like you know if all else is failing i want to have some options available so 
that's what I have for babies pacifiers. Then I have um, a couple things for um, my breastfeeding. I've got just a pair of breast pads here. Um, I already had started leaking a little bit <laughs> during my pregnancy. Um, and so I want to make sure I'm prepared um, to handle any leakage. So I've got that as I've also got my Hakka here. I'm, I mean, I don't think that I'll be quite using this yet, but I definitely want to make sure I'm saving any breast milk um, that I can. So I'm bringing that with me as well as a couple. Um, these are actually cloth diaper liners, but I've heard these are really, really great. Like they're very absorbent. So they're really great, like burp cloth type thing. And these are also just like a little bit thicker. And so I've got um, two of these for any messes that I might need to attend to. Um, and then I've also got my boppy nursing pillow here um, with the new cover on it. And so I've heard this can just be really helpful in getting like getting the right positioning and stuff for breastfeeding as well as can be comfortable to have in the hospital. So this is a super cute. I really liked this cover. It's got um, this cute green pattern here and this leafy pattern on the front. Um, and since we don't know what we're having, I like, I like this one cause it's nice and gender neutral. Um, and then the last thing that I'm bringing for baby are a couple different swaddle options. Um, first is this sleep sack from kite baby. Um, this is the one that's used when they're newborn. So it's got like this little part that Velcros, um, and zips them up in there. And this I like cause it's nice and thick. And like I said, it's going to be December. So it's going to be cold. And listen, I know they have this stuff at the hospital. Okay. I just like, like this one's nice and soft and cute and I'm going to be taking lots of pictures. And so I want to have the ones that I want to have. So I have that one for baby. I've also got, um, the snuggle me swaddle blanket here. Um, and this is a really cute, like swat swaddle, um, that you tie a knot in. And so I wanted to have this as an available option. And then I've also got, um, a pack of muslin swaddle blankets. I've got three of those, um, that hopefully will be useful. I can use to cover the baby up in the car seat, etc. Um, to like, you know, kind of use them as little blankets to keep them warm as we go from the hospital to the car. Um, my car seat has, it's the Nuna. So it has the dream drape on it. So I'm not bringing a car seat cover, but that is another thing that I would bring if you don't have like the dream drape thing, just to keep your baby like you don't want anyone touching it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so that is everything that I'm bringing in my bag for baby. I'm going to pack this all into my diaper bag really quick, just so you can see, um, how much it fits into the Miss Fong bag. If you brought anything else than this, I watched like all the videos and I read like all the blogs. Um, but if you brought anything extra on top of this, I would love to know. Um, I'm probably not going to take anything out just to be honest. I am happy to have extra things. I'll probably talk to my doula a little bit about if the hospital already has some of this stuff. Um, other than that, I'm not gonna take anything out, but if you have extra things that I, you think I should add, let me know. So there you have it. All of that stuff <laughs> fit into this diaper bag. And I like to say if it fits, it ships. So it's coming with me and I'll just have, um, the boppy pillow separate. There actually is a place to, um, like attach things like that. So it's got these little like loops here, um, but I don't think they'll quite fit over the bobby, but is useful if you've got like an extra item you want to attach on the top. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of packing my baby's bag for the hospital. Um, I'll be doing a bag um, for myself and for my husband and one of the videos coming up and baby Flanagan will be joining us sometime next month. Um, so make sure that you are subscribed for that birth vlog. We are going to be documenting it and I'm really excited to share however my um, birth goes, really hoping um, for a peaceful and natural birth. So um, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys back here next week. Bye.